Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, I said we'd be here on the uh, first day of summer, and I lied, but I kind of fixed it in editing, because I'm done editing that. So, we're actually here on the last day... Wait, did I say spring? I, I meant to say spring if I didn't say spring. And, uh, the summer... I don't know what I'm trying to say. We're planting all of our stuff now, because they're back in seed and all that. It should be fine just to plant everything right here and right now. We save a day doing it this way. It doesn't go bad. I've tested it. I literally just like skip day by day into the future just to be sure this was a fine thing to do. And honestly, it might be fine to do it the day before just due to the like length that they're in seed, but I'm not positive on that. And because I'm not positive on that, I'm not doing it. We are farm boys. We are the boys who farm. Is this all the seeds I have? No. That's... These are fall. That's spring. Corn might be, right? Yeah. Corn is right. The problem is that I am currently broke. I decided to do multiple things and uh, ended up broke because of it. And that's on me for overextending myself. Skill up. All right, we're done. So I'm down to 3,400 gold. That's it. I uh, did a lot. As you might expect, it gets very expensive to buy this stuff, but I was trying to buy the stuff that is worth the most. Eggplant is a very good source of income. And we're gonna need the money, because towards the end of the year, I plan on having a bit of fun. <laughs> Swimming season starts tomorrow. I should buy a new bikini this year. What color do you think I'd look cutest in? Um... There... Hmm, that's hard. Honestly, I think like a red or like a crimson would be good on you. I think, th I think that's fair, right? Remember to buy something right now. I'd recommend buying something from our spring special. That would hurt me immensely. <laughs> Hello, Douglas. Swimming season starts tomorrow. You don't think of catching a glimpse of mine in a swimsuit, are ya? I guess that's the voice I'm going for right now. And it will continue to change. Hey. Alright, Kyle. We can go swimming at the sea starting tomorrow. But I'd, ra I'd rather just watch the waves. Also, we can go swim in the sea in a town without a beach. So, I jump off the dock. Have fun. Good afternoon. Good day, Kyle. Good day, Ray. Tomorrow's the start of the swimming season. You like to swim, Kyle? I'm not good at it. I'm not so good at it. <laughs> what can I do for you today? Hello, Kyle. You don't look like you're doing well. Swimming season starts tomorrow. Swimming can be dangerous, so be careful. Happy to see you again today. Swimming season starts tomorrow, but I, I'm not really good at swimming. Well, you can still at least wait in a little where it's not deep, too deep, right? Well, I think I can handle that. Once again, where you have to, you have to jump off the dock. I came back here for a reason. And one of the things will be throwing these branches in. 1288 wood. Twelve eighty nine wood. Awesome. Char. That's for me. I really, really like char. Good. You get everything you deserve. 
Hello, human. It's almost the time of year to start swimming in the sea again. It's gotten so hot out that even the swimming doesn't sound half bad. Just make sure not to drown yourself out there, human. Day, love. Hello, Kyle. Tomorrow's the start of the swimming season. You should see how excited Roy is. He probably won't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Ah, yes, tomorrow's the start of the swimming season, isn't it? Swimming in the ocean can be fun, but you have to make sure to put lotion on your skin. That sounds like all the work just to go in the ocean. Well, it's hard work being a girl. Sure. Thanks. This smells great. Is that for me? Thank you, Kyle. No, I think I'll pass for now. Summer starts tomorrow. For some reason, I don't think a summer is a good time for fortune telling. I mean, it is pretty hot, so it makes sense. I'm fairly certain tomorrow's count is a holiday, so it can't be anything but sunny. Yep. seem as energetic as ever. Thanks, I sure feel like it. Tomorrow's the start of the swimming season. Can't say I've ever been very comfortable in a swimsuit. Hello. Good afternoon. I'm really happy to see you. Swimming season starts tomorrow. It's finally time to unveil the new white bikini that I've been getting ready. Huh, awesome. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, good day. Swimming season starts tomorrow. I can't wait to dive right in. And then, Alvarna was destroyed in a tidal wave. It shouldn't surprise you that I would. Everyone knows that food tastes best after a good sw That's fair. Dude, I, I respect you. You're very, you're very good with business and everything else, but man, when it comes to food, that's all you think about. Also, you're kind of a Muppet with that mouth. Good afternoon. Ah, good afternoon, Kyle. Swimming season starts tomorrow. I'll have the... I have the chance to show off my beautiful sculpted physique. I only have 14% body fat. Pretty amazing, huh? I'm afraid I can't share my fitness secret no matter how much you beg. Uh, that, that's fine. I'm good. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Tomorrow's the start of the swimming season. Cece bought a bathing suit too. Oh, huh. cool. I thought she didn't like being in a bathing suit. Hello, Kyle! Summer starts tomorrow, Kyle! I love the sea in summer! Looking out the sea, all my troubles seem to wash away! And there's plenty of delicious fish! Ba <laughs> ha! Hey there! Hey there, Kyle! Summer starts tomorrow. I'm gonna get some serious fishing done. Let's go swimming too, Kyle! Hi! Hi! Hello there! Tomorrow's the first day of the sw swimming season! Yay! Good. Good. Children being inside is always a good thing. Good afternoon. Hello, Kyle. Swimming season starts tomorrow, Kyle. I hope everyone has fun, but they also need to make sure that they're swimming safely. That, yeah, fair. Hello. Hello, Kyle. Um, listen, I have to tell you, I, uh, oh, never mind. It's the first day of summer tomorrow. I've completely sold out of swimsuits already. Why didn't I get one? I mean, Mana seems to be having a bit of a problem here. Let's see if we can't help her out. Hey, Mana. Oh, Kyle, you saw the bulletin board. Thanks for coming. Did you lose something? I lost my Aqua Marine. I was really looking forward to selling it in my shop. I knew he would have gotten a great price. I'm pretty sure that I lost it somewhere in my shop. I'd be so grateful if you found it. No problem. Thanks. You're so kind, Kyle. It's too small to see, so try pressing the A button places you think it might be. Um. Uh. Oh, is this what Mana was looking for? Aquamarine. There's nothing else here. So we have that Aquamarine now. 
We could go give this to a certain UA, and this would be a free gift for the day. I won't do that, because I don't really need to, but, you know, another loved gift if you're having trouble getting them, if your luck is just poor. You found the Aquamarine! Wow, where was it? Under the wooden box. Thanks, I was looking everywhere for it. Here's 200G in return. 200G. Thanks, if anything else comes up, I'll let you know. You're so good at finding things, Kyle. Uh, yes, I'm the best! Hide and seek is great! Fulfilling one more prophecy. Don't you think dates are fun? Hey, Kyle, I've been waiting for you. I have another fortune-telling job for you. You want me to talk to someone again? You got it. This time it's Mana. Go on a date with Mana for me. A date? Why? I can't do that. You don't like her? It's not that I don't like her, but... Then there's no problem. Seems to me she's got quite the thing for you, too. Really? So what are you waiting for? Go on and ask her out. She's in Cherry Blossom Square. Okay. I guess she got that aquamarine and then was so happy she wanted to go visit the Cherry Blossom. I don't know. Good luck! I haven't done it yet for some reason, so here's your gift, UA. Oh, Kyle, what brings you here? Nothing in particular, I was just, you know, what about you? Me too, I mean, you know. Yeah. Okay? <clears> hmm. <throat> Look. Yes? I'm... I'm sorry, okay? What are you apologizing for? It was actually Alicia who asked me to come here. I see, so you don't actually want to be here, Kyle? Uh, no, that's not what I mean. Alicia may have asked me to come here, but that doesn't mean I didn't want to anyway. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, when I heard you were here, I definitely wanted to come here. This is where we first met, after all. That's right. I really like this place now. It means a lot to me. I'm glad. Sorry today was a little weird, but I wouldn't feel right just going on a, going on a date with you just because Alicia asked me to. Don't worry about it. I forgive you. Whew. Thanks. In exchange, you have to promise to take me on a proper date. A date? Well, okay, I think I can manage that. Well, I should get going. Okay, see you. I think Alicia's prediction may have hit the mark this time. They say that, like, she's ever wrong, but when is Alicia ever wrong? Like, even when she helps her help it, the helps it come true, it still came true. She didn't fail in any capacity. I'm not sure what ones are her doing versus, like, our, like, just fate, but she's never wrong, and I don't get why people act like she is. Did you go on a proper date with Mana? She saw right through it. No, she didn't. You're a liar. She did? So you weren't a good enough act to pull it off, Kyle? I just don't think you can force a love prophecy like this. I see. Well, there's no helping it now. Since I'm so generous, I'll still pay you, of course. 200 G. I'll just have to come up with a better plan next time. Alright. The next quest! Say, Kyle, do you mind if I ask you a bit of a strange question? Sure, go ahead. Um, is there anyone that you like? I like you, eh? What? Good afternoon. Uh, is it because you is the highest on my list? Is that why it said that? Uh, give me a second, I need to Google something. Okay, I just did a little bit of research. This is not what I thought it was going to say. I had a vague memory of two different things happening. And I will show both of them now on screen. The first one being, I don't like anyone right now. And the other one being, I like you. But apparently, the response is different depending on how many people you have at a very high affection level. I just, you know, I've only ever done this a few times, and yeah. Oh, oh, um, yeah, I will show every result on screen here.
Depending on how many people you have a high affection with, the response will be slightly different, but, you know, at least we know that now. There, of course, was no reward for that, but, you know, it's fine. Hey, Rosalind. You're looking well today, Kyle. Hello, Rosalind. I've come to about your message on the board. Thank you for accepting my request. You'll, you'll really be a big help. You need to test some new magic, right? Yes. Okay, so let's get started. About this new spell, it'll cause a localized explosion on a designated target. It's pretty dangerous. The size of the explosion is only a couple of square yards, but everything within it will be subjugated to extremely high heat and pressure. That's a pretty scary spell. Okay, so anyway, the point is, Kyle, I was hoping that you'd do me a favor and come with me to see whether or not the spell works properly. Is this going to be safe? Of course it'll be safe. There's no reason to worry. If my calculations are correct, there's no reason for anything to go wrong. But I can't prove my theories if I don't conduct experiments. This seems like a kind of dangerous experiment, but if you're sure it's safe, I'll trust you. Count me in. Thank you. I'll be conducting the experiment at Trieste Force Entrance. I'll head to the testing site early and make all the necessary preparations. Understood. I'll head over there as soon as I can. Alright. I was waiting for you, Kyle. Still, I was a little worried that you wouldn't show up. I'm quite flattered. You must have a lot of faith in my abilities. No, no, it's really nothing. So let's get this experiment started. On the off chance anything goes wrong, I'll be here to protect you. I'm about the spell. I kind of made it all up. I really just want to know how you felt about me and my abilities, so I just figured I'd, uh... What? <sighs> you're mad, aren't you? That makes sense. I'm sorry if you're angry that I tested you. Still, you didn't worry about the danger, and you accepted such a ridiculous request so bravely. It made me really happy. <laughs> Rosalind, I'm not mad at you at all. Honestly, I'm mostly relieved to know that you made the whole thing up. That spell sounded awfully scary. Well, do you forgive me? I forgive you. You told a lie because you wanted to see how I felt about you. Honestly, that makes me really happy. Thank you, Kyle. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Rosalind. See you later, Kyle. Alright. So after that one, another one that I don't get money for, which is sad because I kind of need money today. We're going to help out Julia. I kind of messed something up at the store. What? Where? Hello? Julia? Where? You're... It's opening! Like you... You should be here! What? There she is. Okay, it's for this quest. Got it. Julia, I saw your message on the board. Did something happen? Well, I kind of made a little mistake. Okay, so I kind of accidentally drained the bath at the wrong time. And coincidentally, Natalie just happened to be in there at the time. She said I put her in danger. She got really mad at me. Well, that sounds rough. You look pretty upset about it. I really just can't believe I was so careless. Hey, Kyle, is that you? What are you two doing here? Ah, listen to this for a minute. So when I was in the bath today, Julie went ahead and started draining the water. Isn't that awful? My foot could have been sucked in right, right in the drain, or I could easily have slipped and fallen. Natalie, I see where you're coming from, but look, Julia's pretty upset about all this, too. I'm really sorry, Natalie. You were in danger because of me. See, Natalie, I know you're upset, but Julia already feels terrible. 
I understand. Just don't do it again. I'll forgive you this time, but... Well, I guess everyone makes mistakes. Yes, I was in danger, but maybe I've reacted a little. I'm sorry, Julia. Don't be. Don't be. It was my fault, Natalie. I'm really sorry. Well, so everything's okay? I think this conversation can end here. Okay, well, I've got some things I need to go do. I'll see you two around. That turned out well. It looks like Natalie understood that you feel bad enough. But from now on, please try and be a little more careful, Julia. You didn't have to butt in like that. I'm not totally helpless. I can fight my own battles, you know. You're a jerk, Kyle. Was it something I said? I don't understand girls at all. Yeah, you're dumb. And another quest down. Help me find something. I did something kind of silly. I think I might have dropped something. Can you go get it for me? Come see me for details. Did you need something, UA? Oh, Kyle, you're finally here. I just want to know how think. I just want you to know how thankful I am for how nice you've been to me, Kyle. Oh, it's nothing. I mean it. And I thought I'd show how grateful I am by giving you a really big present. For me, you didn't need to. Thanks, UA. Well, uh, that's the thing. There's a little problem with your present. There is? What's wrong? I lost it somewhere on Bossy Island, and after all the trouble, I just went to get it for you. <laughs> Something came up. I didn't want to go to the island at all, but I didn't have a choice, and on the way home, I must have dropped it. I can't believe I did that. I want to go back and find it. But there are just too many monsters on Blessy Island for me to go searching around in it. There's no way I could find it myself. I know this is a strange request, but could you check Blessy Island for me to find your present? You're the only one I can count on to find it, Kyle. <laughs> uh, well, I wouldn't want your present to go to waste. I'll find it for you. Thanks, Kyle. I knew I could count on you. I must have dropped your present somewhere on Blessy Island. I know it's a stupid quest, but please find it for me. Alright. Okay. Right over here, we find this little thing. This is the critical ring. A ring that raises critical attacks. Somehow makes the best places to strike more obvious. Uh, if we were to compare it to this, we'd lose 11 defense and 4 magic defense. But it would give us higher crits. This one... Yeah. We'll go into this more later. Just know it's an interesting thing. Okay, the critical ring. Yue, I found it. This is what you lost, right? Yes, this is it. Well done, Kyle. I knew I could trust you in this. You really are trustworthy, aren't you? Well, I'm glad I got it back. You've done so much for me, Kyle, haven't you? Thank you, here's something to show my gratitude. And you got the critical ring that you just handed to her. Thank you, UA, this is great. It's just a token of my affection. Keep it safe. I will. I give you another one. I'm embarrassed even to talk to you about it. <laughs> ah, charming. And now, final one for today. Dorothy, I tried making cookies, so, uh... If you want, you can come over and try them for me. I'll be waiting. Oh. Okay, right. She's off work or something. Uh, hello, Kyle. I've just baked some chocolate cookies. And I had some trouble with the oven to start with. And burned about eight batches. They may not taste all that good, but... Please, will you eat them? You got chocolate cookies. I think Dorothy has started to open up a little. She's talking a little more easily. She's talking for herself now, too. That's progress. Thank you. Can I try one? Ah, uh, yes. Please do. Okay, here we go. Crunch, crunch. Wow. <laughs> uh, these are awful. They're pretty awful. I'm sorry. They don't taste much like chocolate. In fact, just what did you put in them to create a flavor like this? 
Oh, well, it's a secret recipe, but lampgrass, scorpion pinch, tuna, carrots, onions, pineapple. Okay, you're upsetting my stomach. Please, that's enough. Why did you put all that stuff in it? But I just followed the recipe as it's shown in this book. I see. That sounds like an odd recipe. Can I take a look? Okay. Hmm. Hey. It's pretty obvious, I think, that this has been altered by someone. Looks like it's a child's writing. I didn't notice. I can only think of one person who would have done this. And here she is. Oh, uh, what's up, you guys? Want to play hide and go seek? Hi, Cammy. You look like you're full of energy again today. So, can I ask you something? Are you the one who added all the extra ingredients to this recipe? Yeah, that's right. I was bored, so I changed it to something more fun. More fun? I didn't. I don't know about that. Don't tell me you made them. Don't tell you made them and ate them. That's right. What? You really made them? I never thought anyone would. You made them, sis? Yeah. Wow, tricked you good, didn't I? Cammy, please. Oh, I'm sorry, sis. Now I'm very busy. Got lots more playing to do. See you later. Cammy was the culprit. She can do terrible things sometimes just because she's so naive. Well, I guess that's just who she is. She didn't expect anyone to really make them, so she wasn't really cruel on purpose. I know. I'll make proper cookies for you next time then, Kyle. Great, I'll look forward to it. I'm sorry for all this today. Oh, that's not a problem. Don't worry about it. Well, thank you. I'll bring more for you. I'll be waiting. But what happens if we say they're good? These are really good, Dorothy. Thank you, I'm glad you like them. You've got a real- You've got a real talent here, Dorothy. Oh no, I just got lucky with this batch. There's no need to say that. I wanna eat more, these are really good. Okay, if you say so, Kyle. I'll try to make some more. Then I'll look forward to it. I'll bring you them every day, then. I think every day might be overkill. No need to go quite that far. Okay. Next time I see you then. Great. I can't wait. Thanks. I'll just have one more then. Huh? What are you doing with Kyle, sis? Ah, uh, Cammy. Hey, chocolate cookies. I want some too. Crunch, crunch. These are great. Really? Thank you. You bake them? Yes. Yes. They're fantastic. Give me more. Hey, those are for Kyle. Crunch, crunch. Delicious. Crunch, crunch. Well, I'm stuffed. Fantastic. Oh, there's only one left for Kyle. I know. These are so good, I'll take one to Roy. I'll take this. Thanks. Now I'm very busy. Got lots of playing to do. See you later. Oh, Kyle's cookies. They're all gone. They were really good. I would have liked just a few more. Yes. Thank you. I'll make more for you next time. Great. I'll look forward to it. Okay. I'll bring more for you. I'll be waiting. So yeah, very different realities if you answer differently. It's weird. It's it's very weird. I... I don't know. I'm gonna go with the positive result that Cammy didn't mess with things, though I don't think it really matters. It just gives you this unique dialogue. So that is everything for today. But we're not quite done with the episode yet. I am actually going to be doing a bunch of farming for the day, so I will meet you guys tomorrow. Actually, before that, I need to look. I need to look at something. Give me a moment. Okay. So I've made a decision now. The critical ring here, I will not be using. I care more about the defense and everything. I'm really not using that much energy swinging my hammer or anything. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I have the defense here with these two accessories and the strength and everything. I would. I don't care that much about crits. No enemy here really survives more than a couple hits from me. I've already read the description this episode, so I'll just ship it.
Awesome. I will actually sell the onion seeds. I know that's kind of a waste, but I don't care. <laughs> I have enough onions. I got this as a request thing. That'll feed our money. Um, I'll sell my extra of these. I have enough toy herbs. If I need to buy more later, I can. But I need the money now. And I'll do the same thing for these. I'll buy these later again. They're also just taking up inventory space, and I don't really want that right now. Um... As well as a stack of pink turnips. I have, I think, three stacks at home and another in my inventory here. So, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna hope that I have seven plots open and do this. Sure, I probably do. Wild. I actually have two plots left. Um... I don't know how I didn't notice I had one of those left. Alright, time to buy the last one I need. I'm broke again, but I have a lot of eggplants to sell in just, I believe, nine days. So none of these will be used for energy. These will all be purely used just for money, as fast as possible. So guys, I'll meet you back here tomorrow on the first day of summer and I'll show off that. See you guys then. All right, it's finally summer. Which means that, you know, we're going to be farming. Uh, give me a minute, guys! Oh, actually, one thing. I left these planted because I wanted this. Withered grass, dried up produce and grass. What was lacking? Love? Water? Or was it merely fate? One may never know. It's, uh... It's part of the ship list. Like, uh, a ship too, just for posterity, but like, you know. It's, it's just a thing. Uh, let some of it die, and you'll be rewarded with another item on your ship list. Skill up again. You're done? You think you can take me? Do not forget me? Alright, we're now good. Alright, I guess I can water this. Why not? Alrighty, we're done! Morning. Kyle, good morning! Yippee, it's the first day of summer! Can't wait to do some swimming! <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun, but be careful when swimming, okay? Okay, I will! You be careful too, Kyle! Make sure you stretch before you swim so you don't get cramps! Yeah, it's a festival today. Everyone's happy. And, you know, not home. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. It's the start of the sw swimming season. Do you swim much, Kyle? No, because in this game you can't swim and it sucks. Uh, no. She's gonna be down there. Morning, Kyle! It's the first day of summer. I'm gonna go swimming today. You don't waste any time, do you, Roy? Just be careful just be yeah, just make sure you're careful. I know, I know. Alright, if we head in here. Morning. Good morning, Kyle! Hey Kyle, it's the start of the swimming season! There's nothing like a good swim to cool off on a hot summer day. Morning. Morning, kid. Oh, how are you doing? Good morning, Douglas. I'm fine, thank you. It's the start of the swimming season. I can't wait to put on my swimming trucks and show off my muscles. It really drives the ladies wild. Natalie, can you confirm that that drives you wild? 
What can I do for you today? Good morning, Good morning Kyle. <laughs> He's like, you're doing well today. It's the first day of summer. I used to travel them in quite wild when I put on a bathing suit. Uh... You guys are very similar. <laughs> morning. Ah, oh, good morning. It's the start of the swimming season. I'm quite famous for my cannonballs, you know? Makes sense, you mop it. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Ah, uh, Kyle, it's been hot every day recently, hasn't it? How are you holding up under this heat? I'm doing fine. Also, can I? Okay, I, I was pretty sure I couldn't. Good. <laughs> Because otherwise, this day would become a mess. Hi, good morning, Kyle. Swimming season starts today. Roy has been raring to get, get in the water since this morning. He really does love to play outside. And that's very good to hear. Morning. Oh, good morning, Kyle. Look at that red sun. What a gorgeous blue sky. A um, quivering mirage. Nothing like summertime at the ocean. Good morning, Kyle. I get so lonely whenever I don't get to see you. Ah, huh, today's the start of the swimming season. You know what feels good after swimming? A nice long bath. <laughs> what about you, Julia? Are you going to get in the water? Well, if I were to get in, I'd have to cover myself in sunscreen, so I don't really think I want to. That's fair. I love swimming, but I get burned. I get burned so easily, to be honest. It's kind of rough because I love the ocean and the pool and everything, but I kind of have a minor allergy to sunlight. Good morning, Good morning Kyle. Good morning, Ray. It's the start of the swimming season. How are you at swimming, Kyle? Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. I'm really happy to see you. Today's the start of the swimming season. I'm not a very good swimmer, but when I get to see how excited Julia and them all are, I get help and look forward to it. All right. UA is up here. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Um, listen, Kyle, I have to tell you, I, uh, oh, never mind. Swimming season starts today. I'm actually on an outstanding swimmer. I just need to remember where I put my swimsuit. Yeah, I guess you can't swim wearing those clothes, can you? I'd have, I'd have to be crazy to try swimming in this. I'd probably drown. That's fair. And while I'm here, because I just thought of it, I haven't been giving out gifts, so I should probably do that. Good morning. Good morning. Nice seeing you again today. It's nice seeing you too. Swimming season starts today. The weather looks perfect for it. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, would you like to try to see who... Me to see who you like right now? Good morning, and no, I think I'll pass for now. It's the first day of summer. According to my fortune, it'll be hot out today. I mean, that's... Yeah, obviously. Good morning, Kyle. Morning, Mana. It's the first day of su summer. I look... I really look forward to doing some swimming this summer. Well, if only any of you were allowed to swim. Or I was allowed to swim. Or anyone was allowed to swim. This this town sucks. <laughs> um. Ah, I remember who I'm forgetting. Morning. Morning, human. It's hot. It's so hot. I guess we can go swimming starting today. Don't overdo it out there, human. I won't. But it's fun to play in the sea, don't you think? Can you swim, Jake? Of course I can swim. I'm an elf. Is he saying that all elves can swim? That seems like a stereotype. Good morning, Kyle. I'm happy to see you again today. Swimming season starts today, but I'm not a special good swimmer. Oh, sad. I love swimming. Good morning. morning, Kyle. Summer starts today, but why should I care? I'm not a little kid anymore. I mean, to be fair, it's not about being a little kid. The fact that beaches are open, quote unquote, because, you know, beaches aren't actually open. There's no beaches. Um, you can start swimming today, and swimming is just good for the soul and for your body as well. But that is it. 
That is the entire event today. We know that we can't do Uber Quest today. We can't take our monsters out of the barn. So as you know, far as everything goes, we're done. The reason I did it this way was because I knew that none of this would be available today. So I did the majority of the episode yesterday, and now I showed off everything today. We're going to head over to check out our friendship with everyone. You know, as you'd expect, the girls like us some of the most. Kemi's at 6, Barrett at 5. Yeah, our lowest person is Egan and Herman at 3. And I think three might be high enough to do their last quests, maybe? Egan's last quest? I don't remember if there was another one for Herman. I don't remember which ones we've done for him. So next episode, we can take care of some of that stuff. But we're nearing the end. UA, I think, only has the one last request. Dorothy would have two more. Rosalind would have three. Alicia would have... Four, I guess, and they would both have three more. I had to like look at the love level. Yeah, I had to look at the love level and realize that that's because she doesn't, you know, care about gifts or talking. She just cares about the fortunes. Mana is still down at five, but you know that still means that we have five more quests with her. That's pretty good. We're going good. So I. Give me just a second to decide upon something. I've made a decision. I consulted my calendar that I made up, and uh, I will meet you back here on the 7th. On the 7th and the 9th are the two days we'll be here and doing things. And maybe a little clip of the 8th, depending. But um, the reason for this is that the next festival is on the 7th, and the next birthday is on the 9th. So we'll take care of a festival day, and then we'll take care of a birthday where we can do a bunch of quests and give out the birthday gift. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.